at SA Water we work to provide world-class water services for a better life. In the laboratory at the moment we're performing some experiments to hopefully improve water treatment. So we're looking at harnessing the power of some helpful bacteria to make water treatment more effective and more efficient. It all starts with cyanobacteria. These are microorganisms which are a normal natural part of aquatic environments. Of course we need to remove them in the water treatment process, and we do. Uh, however, sometimes they can produce earthy, musty or grassy taste and odour compounds. These are called MIB and Geosmin. They're not harmful at all, but they can impart a not particularly nice taste and odour to the water. So we use carbon at our water treatment plants to remove these taste and odour compounds. However, unfortunately, sometimes we can't remove all of the MIB and Geosmin and a little tiny bit makes it through to our customers. The good news is there are actually bacteria living in our raw water that can degrade MIB and Geosmin. And if we can figure out the conditions that make these guys thrive, then we can hopefully improve water treatment, make it more efficient and more effective. So these experiments set out to determine if bacteria can survive the early part of the water treatment process. We're hoping that they survive and make it through to our sand filters where they can establish a biofilm that's able to degrade MIB and Geosmin. Water treatment involves using a chemical to coagulate the dirt, silt, bacteria and other particles in the water. In the laboratory we can simulate this using a jar test, which is basically water treatment in a jar. In this series of jar tests, we're changing the coagulant concentration and type to see if we can create conditions that allow these bacteria to survive this early part of the water treatment process. We call the clumps of dirt, microbes, particles and silt flocks. In this step, the flocks are bumping into each other and getting larger and larger. This is called flocculation. We then let this water sit for a little while. This is called settling as the flocks settle to the bottom of the jar. This removes most of the dirt, organisms and silt and particles from our water. The resulting settled water then travels to our sand filters. It's in this water that the bacteria that may be helpful in removing MIB and geosmin may arrive on the sand filters to form a biofilm, thus removing the MIB and the geosmin from the water. We then place this settled water in bioreactors and spike them with MIB and geosmin. We then analyse this water over a month to look at the bacteria that are there and whether or not they're degrading MIB and geosmin and to see if we've created conditions favourable for the removal of MIB and geosmin. So these experiments showed that all the raw waters tested have the bacteria with the potential to degrade MIB and geosmin in them. However, the different coagulation conditions sometimes allowed for degradation and sometimes didn't. What we did discover though is that we need to know a lot more about our native bacterial community so that we can harness their power to make water treatment more efficient and more effective.